Hey, what's up guys? Ara here and welcome back to another episode of my F1 2020 manager career mode here with McLaren. If you did miss the opening episode of this series two days ago, then be sure to go see that one. We intro the entire thing and we do it the first race, obviously, in this running Grand Prix and it went very well. Uh, well, actually, uh, half and half. It went very well for Carlos Sainz. Really decent race. Landon Norris obviously had his issues, but overall, I think it was a pretty decent first episode for the team in general. In terms of the team standings, we're already there in P4. A good number of points ahead of Renault and Racing Point already to solidify this slot. I feel like I've said it before many times in that first episode this season. I feel it's about solidifying this P4 and having a good foundational year to then try and springboard up to try and catch the top three teams potentially in the second or third season, however long it takes really. But, uh, you know, this season's really just about foundation laying, maybe with some surprise uh, results. But it was really great to see the response was so, so mega. There were so many of you guys in the comments below that were like going crazy for that. We went with uh, this 2020 McLaren career mode and specifically with McLaren uh, was the, the kind of big kind of joy about that so I'm glad that a lot of people uh, uh, have liked that decision because it's been a long while actually on the channel since I've done anything kind of McLaren related I think the last thing I did was maybe season four and F1 2018 on uh, on career mode there all the way back like, like, like last year or even the, uh, the previous one as well so um yeah I haven't actually done a lot of Mc I used to do a lot of stuff with McLaren because obviously I was I was a fan of Jensen Button when he used to race in F1 so I always did a lot of stuff with McLaren uh, in terms of of content, but it's not really been the case for the last two years, really, even though I still obviously like the team, and obviously the two drivers in real life are very, very uh, likeable. Um, uh, so, but yeah, I just, for some reason, we haven't actually done that lot of much, uh, much content with this team. Uh, so glad to see a lot of you guys were enjoying that. So, awesome. Uh, we're going to move on then into episode number two. Uh, obviously, coming off the back of what was a decent race for us, hopefully just building on that. Uh, hopefully having both uh, cars in the points would be good, but to be fair, everyone had issues, like Renault had a DNF with Ocon, um, racing point, I well, they scored some points, but I don't think they had both drivers in the points. And then there's just a lot of, obviously, chaos being the opening race. Uh, and also, we didn't know what was going to happen. It was a very big unknown. Surprisingly, the tyre wear wasn't too bad, in my opinion. It wasn't really that bad. And definitely, Sainz uh, appeared to be very, very solid uh, later on in the race. He, uh, initially, it was a little bit iffy. And Lando Norris was showing up to be a very, very decent driver in the race. Um, so hopefully, we've got um, you know a, a good thing going here, basically. If Carlos is slow at the beginning, that's all right. Then he speeds up at the end of the race. And Lando can hopefully just uh, carry on that momentum. And uh, this time, maybe just not have, a, ha, ha, have obviously, the crash he had with Ocon. But uh, we attempted a quick pit stop for Norris. Um... I'm going to say we, we have to... Oh, well, I know that's going to have a negative response. So I'm going to say... I'm going to say B. What's that going to do? That's going to be nothing for Zach Brown. So that's all fine there. He's pretty happy anyway off the back of that first race. So that's all good. Uh, in terms of pit crew, let's have a look here. Yes, we can hire two 18s here straight away. That'll be a nice boost to the roster here. Um, so we can replace some of the 17s we've got with 18. Because I'm pretty sure, yeah, they will, they will turn to 18. So we can swap out this 16. And we can swap out on the 17s. Uh, I will swap out this guy here. Because he's pretty bad at most things. Um, yeah, he did, this guy's actually pretty horrendous at everything else, really. Um, so all he's got going for him is that level 17 on the tire change. But everything's fine then in terms of front jack. Is a mistake percentage? Ooh, okay. I need to swap this guy out. Jesus, right. Uh, I'm going to swap back. I'm going to swap back in this dude. Uh, because, wow, how is this guy 5.8 and he's not burnt out or anything like that? Like, his stamina is really low. I mean, he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a high max stamina anyway to start off with. Uh, and i got to remember, I need to reject all these guys. Uh, refuel? Yeah, we don't need refueling. That guy's an all-rounder, but I'll just fire him as well. I just, uh, no, uh, what's the word? Reject him? Yeah, reject him. And uh, we'll get a nice refresh for next episode. So we'll move on then. Car repair going to get done. Uh, we're still waiting on this suspension. That'll get done in seven days' time. Um, but once that's done, again, uh, like like was very much the case when we showed it, um, basically. Uh, at the What on earth is that? Why, why have we got so many emails? Pierre Gasly accepted into Academy. Huh? Okay. Um... Yeah, okay, cool, right, that's, after taking a trial less, a session for the Academy Drive, driver of Scuderia Toro Rosso, uh, okay, that's a bit weird, and then this guy also got, a ca okay, I'm very confused there, I saw, there's like three emails about Academy Drives, what, what's going on here, there's four, there's four, and then, Academy confirms rejection, after the trial session, the driver got rejected, and had to leave, during an interview, he seemed pretty disappointed, failed, uh, Academy, tr what? How do we just loot? Are we just lost? It? We've just lost like ten percent of his markability there, for no apparent reason. What? What? What is this academy? G Garcia, she's not even a f what? 
I'm so confused. What is this academy? What? Why? Why? Why are all these guys doing academy tryouts? I'm so very confused. I don't know. Is that a thing that Leclerc uh, was uh, not Leclerc was Norris in? I don't know. Okay, cool. Right, he's been rejected from an academy. That's um, that doesn't not just affect his morale, uh, his uh, his uh, morale, does it? It affects other things as well. Uh, morale. Oh, no, okay, cool. I was gonna say, did it affect his his abilities? But no, just it affects his uh, happiness and morale. But he should be kind of okay still. Um. What's his morale like look right now? It's pretty low. Minus two on Carp, and he minus ten from Sydney, and he's now got minus five for failing the academy trial. Jesus, right? Okay, hopefully his morale picks up a little bit. That doesn't affect him too much in the race to come. But anyway, we get the suspension built. I was about to say we've got to continue playing on because this suspension arm is it going to be the best we've got? It is now. Finally, this suspension arm will be the best one we have once we improve it. Um, so I need to try and get the reliability up, but at the same time, I'll also performance up. So I probably won't get this done in time for the race, but it's just going to have to deal with it here. Um, right. Again, should we just go for... Oh, what random legendary component do we get? Do we, do we even get one for, for that? Um, I can't tell what we got because there's, it, it just applies it, doesn't it? I'm going to guess it's probably one of the ones that reduces reliability, doesn't it? Um... Yeah, no, okay, I don't know what, I don't know which one we got, I don't know if that even, I don't know if we're, if we're even allowed to, do, do we get one even if we have it locked, is that a thing, or does it not, do we not get this, if, if uh, we have it locked, maybe that's a thing, I'm not too sure, right, um, in that case, should we go for another one, uh, plus 20, plus 40, uh, the risk level, plus 40 to max, that's, See, that's a max of 860. It's hard to tell with the purple writing. And then this uh, random one is, I'm guessing, it surely added one of... It must have added one of these then, surely. Right, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it for now, I think. I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to delve somewhere else. We'll go back to the gearbox. Let's, let's delve into that again and spend some money on that. So we'll go with just build time because we just need to get through, don't we? Um, to Oh, no, do we not have... Is this uh, locked? Or do we have to do it again? No, oh, we have to do one more component. All right, so if I do that one, that, that works, right? So I, I just do that. Um, 1.15 million. We have the knowledge, right? We have the knowledge on HQ for a, for a great gearbox. Uh, great. Yes, we do. Okay, so design new part. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's where I've got. Oh, that's where I'm left. I don't have anything more. Wow. Okay, that's... That's... Okay, that's left us in a pickle, actually, here with McLaren. They, they actually... We need actually... We need some upgrades to this HQ, because the way we have to do these with iterations, um, we need investment in the HQ, basically. Um, our engine's good, that's at least one thing. Maybe we should just work into having a really great engine. I feel like, oh, honestly, right now, I feel like we should just work on having the best engine possible, and once we get to about halfway through the season, stop development, invest in the HQ then for next season, but right now... Because we can't really do that much. Because every part I'm going to have to invest in for about, you know, three iterations. Till we get a good part like this. Um, but there's no point if for every single one, obviously I don't have I don't have anything more than great. I'm going off the random component, basically, that we have. Uh, or, or, or this, which obviously is not any use to us. So, I, in, in that case, I'll go for the engine upgrade. Um... I'll go plus 25. That'll be 931. Is that going to be even better than what we got right now? 931. So even with the engine, I have to do iterations and delve into it before we even get anything. So I may as well do minus one build uh, build time. I'll get done one day after Grand Prix. But this is actually going to be quite... I said it before last episode, but I'm re realizing it more and more. There's a lot less money we have as a team. And our HQ is a lot further down the pecking order than Ferrari obviously was in that career mode. So it's going to be a lot harder to actually develop this car um, quickly. Like, it will take a while. We're going to have to grind this uh, in terms of, like, you know, getting through these iterations, getting through HQ upgrades. Oh, jeez. Right. Um, in that case, actually, you know what? I want to I wanna spend some money right now on the HQ then. Um, let's go ahead uh, oh, we're pretty poor on the gearbox, I think. We're 8th place. I feel like we need to uh, do something on the gearbox. So let's go ahead and upgrade the telemetry center. It'll cost us 6 million. Gonna go for it. 18 weeks. May as well spend it now, then later, and not have to wait 16 weeks down the line. So get that done. You know what? We should probably do something else as well. What else is lacking, maybe, with our car? Front wing's good. Rear wing's good. Suspension's okay. Brakes are okay. So really, it's what we what we fancy doing here. Uh, what's the cheapest one? What's the cheapest one? We've got 8 million. 
Six million. Uh, that's not uh, that's not something we can do. Nine million. Oh, wait, actually, hang on. There's something we can do. Uh, we're already upgrading it. Sorry. Uh, nine million, and then ten million. Right. So six million for the rear wing. Yeah. Okay. Gone. Rear rear wing. Let's let's just delve into that. Um, because that will cost us the least amount of money. Yeah. I I I think that works out. Maybe as a as a bit logical. Should we do it between gearbox and uh, suspension? Uh, we're all doing we're, we're, uh, gearbox and brakes, sorry, because brakes and suspension are lower on our car than the wings. The wings are kind of better, so we can maybe get away with that. So between brakes and suspension, brakes is 10 million. That is 8 million. So we'll go for suspension. Then handling development center. That also improves their smoothness uh, and cornering, I guess. So that's also pretty good. So 8 million there. Yeah, let's spend it. Right. So we're on 3.5 million. I can already tell you we're going to go into some debt, I think. Uh, sooner rather than later, I think, in terms of the amount of upgrades I'm going to have to do here and iterations. Uh, but like I've said, it, way back in the day in the Archer career mode, it's an uh, infamous phrase that I, I said like in the first season when, we, when this game first came out. You've got to spend money to make money, and that is very true here on Motorsport Manager. You know, when we did the Archer career mode, I went in debt of like 10 million at one point. And then we got it back because obviously the car started to improve. So let's not be scared of going in the red here with McLaren. It's all a long-term, long-term plan here. It's a long-term plan. Like Zach Brown said, it's a, it's a five-year step. Right, away from that then, we are traveling to Dubai for the second round of the season. We're going to take in, uh, I think, the same selection of tires we had last time. You know, 654. I think that worked well for us. It gave us enough tires to work with, really. I mean, to be fair, like, like we uh, kind of saw with the second career mode, uh, with the second season of Ferrari, the when you have the free choice here like this, it's actually quite overkill. You don't need this many tires for every single compound, so it's all fine. Carlos Sainz is still angry about the car, even though, literally, mate, you've got the same car. Stop being so annoyed. Uh, this new suspension is the best suspension we've got now, but the reliability is horrendous, so we won't give that to you yet. But Carlos, you will be the first man to get that once we once you can use it and so hopefully then you can stop being so annoyed at us basically um but let's move forward then it's gonna be apparently all dry i would be shocked if it starts raining at dubai but hey ho all right send the boys out and practice i don't think uh, this setup's gonna go as easily as it maybe did in australia but um i'm gonna send them on a laps we're gonna do this they get the medium stint done um because it was close once again uh it was a uh, well not close well actually wait, hang on wait, did we actually get level do we have level 2 last time? I can't even remember. I recorded that episode two days ago, and I can't remember if we got level 2 on the quality trim. I'm trying to think, because because obviously these guys have less feedback than uh, than uh, Vettel or Verstappen or Leclerc ever did. Obviously, they're, um, well, Lando, at least, is a bit of a rookie driver. A bit of a rookie driver. He's a rookie driver, at least uh, was this year. In 2020, he won't be. So he'll be his second full year. But uh, Sainz also has obviously only uh, got a few years under his belt. So uh, compared to Vettel or Verstappen, their feedback's not as good. Leclerc had pretty okay feedback, actually, considering he was uh, also in his second year of F1. Um... But because of that, these guys are a little bit slower to get their knowledge. So we're going to have to compromise again. We'll go for the race race trims, though, because that's obviously where the points come. I, w I would love to have a decent quality trim and qualifying tyre knowledge. But uh, you've got to go for where the points are. And as, uh, until we get a rule change that uh, awards points for qualifying, then uh, we'll focus on the race uh, first and foremost with, uh, with, the, with the tyres we need for that. So we'll get the knowledge done for that, check the setups, and then switch them over to quality. Uh, but like I said, I, th I have a feeling the, f the setup's going to be a bit more faffy than they were Australia, just because the baseline here, basically, when I when I loaded up the setup, the the bar was so much further away from where we started off on the actual s uh, where the setup was. So I think there's going to be a lot of fine tuning to maybe do. Maybe I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm wrong. All right, bringing them both in. Good timing there once again as they finish their laps. Let's have a look here. Yeah, thought so. Thought it wasn't going to be too good. All right, we've got a lot of work to do here in terms of the uh, aero. And the uh, 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 the gear ratios. So uh, I think we're going to have to go a lot higher downforce then. I think I would say probably like up to there. To be fair, this rear wing was really low. Um, so probably pr probably should have guessed that, to be fair. And then speed balance, let's try something like that. Um, that was the worst voice, voice crack ever. Uh, let's try something like that. We'll go ultras and um, qualifying. And then Lando will do the same thing. Yeah, we're going to need a higher rear wing. And then lower. Again, on the speed balance, I would guess. Um, yeah, let's go. That's why well, he was poor, so I think he's going to be all the over here. And then for this, let's try something like that. And then he was actually good in the handling, so let's just leave it where we were. Good qualifying and ultras again. Right, setup's looking much better. Two excellence and one good uh, for Lando, and two excellence and one great for Carlos Sainz. He's got 96. I think we'll leave it at that. So we've got 
Uh, I'm going to send him out again for another stint. We'll get level two. We will get level two this time uh, on these ultras. And then, uh, you know what? I might send him out alone on this on this stint and put Lando on a race trim. Just because I think we can go towards level three, maybe. Just about on the, on the race trim. So let's go for the mediums again. Uh, we're 95%. That's, that's, I would say fine, but we can, we can tweak that a little bit. Maybe bring that back one step. Let's see how that works out for him. Uh, we'll send out on the race trim. And as soon as Carlos Sainz gets uh, level three, as soon as he gets uh, three, we'll bring Sainz in, uh, or two rather. We'll bring him in, which will be literally on this lap, I think. Bring in, hopefully, as he rounds the final bend. Can that pixel go over to level two, please? Come on. Come on. Sure. Yeah, there we go. Right. Bring him in. Go out on the race trim. So we'll get level three for the race stuff, and we'll get level two for the quality stuff. Um, I, 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 I hope. Um, and then we might we might have time. We might have time to go go try get level three for quality, but maybe not. Right. They'll get level three. So bring them in, and we could just go for the quality. Last minute. Last minute. Level three quality. Let's go. Send out quality trim. Level three. Stay on that set of ultras. Same thing for you, mate. Level three. Let's go for it. Come on. We've got four minutes to go. We might just get this, you know. Might, if they're just quick enough, come on. Yeah, we will get it. We will get level three. Fair play, lads. Fair play. With a feedback of 13 and 14, or 13 and 12. That's a very decent job by our two boys. Yeah, obviously, it's a shorter track. One minute 13. Um, but still, they did the job. All three levels for everything. I'm surprised, actually. And we got a decent setup. Looking forward to this one now. I think we can do some good... I have a good feeling about this. For some reason, I have a good feeling about this. Even though it's always a quite tricky circuit for me. The AI are very good at tyre wear. Um, I think this will be a good one for us. I think we're looking competitive compared to Renault and Racing Point and Torosso once again. Right, these boys doing their flying laps then on a set of super soft tyres. Hopefully get through on the middle compound tyre. Just save tyres basically for the race. Just to give us some flexibility, perhaps. And hopefully we do have the pace to get through into Q2 as the time start coming in. We do start to move down the ladder. But hopefully we'll be ahead of the knockout zone. Uh, it's a little bit close. There's about two tenths there. I'm hoping that'll be fine. I'm going to leave that. I think they should be fine. Two tenths away from the knockout zone. Uh, hopefully, you know, the likes of Latifi aren't going to improve, are they? Or Russell, so... Uh, and and these guys aren't either. So, ooh, we've moved down a little bit. We're very close. We're very close, but we're not going to get knocked out. These guys, won't, these guys won't improve enough, so we'll be fine there. But that is pretty close. That's pretty close. So, uh, unlike Ferrari, we definitely don't have the overall outright pace to be right up here still in the mix with our competitors on the middle compound attire. We very much are, are, are way down the order with the middle compound attire, but, you know, it, it's, it still works. We got through to Q2, and uh, we've got a, apparently six tenths to find on that jump of tyre. That actually seems a little bit large, actually. So I'm hoping we can also gain some pace just off the car as well in Q2 and just not the tyres, because otherwise that's quite a big golf, actually. Right, Q2 time. We're going to send them out on the ultras now this time. Track grip is still going up, uh, up in this session here. So uh, I'll wait a little bit and then send them out. Hopefully we'll only need one run, though. I'm hoping, but... It, it, we know, no longer is it the one run. Like, you know, it could be two runs for sure that we need in this session uh, and all season, in fact. So we'll send them out on ultras now. I know the track grip's not fully up yet, but we have to We have to send them out. We, don't, we can't just wait forever for the track grip to go up. Otherwise, you won't set that time. Uh, so we'll set one banker, hopefully, and that will be good enough, I hope. And if not, we have to, we have to go again. Let's have a look at the times. Right. Ocon looks pretty good there. Al Ocon's actually being Albin right now. So the Renault's looking pretty racy. Science up at the P9. Norris P12. Norris is going to have to go again. Norris will definitely have to go again. He's like three. He's ooh, nearly, nearly five tenths off Science. He, he has to go again. You're not going to make the cut, mate. Perez will definitely out-qualify you, I think. Right. Come in. Going to wait till the death of the session. What's, the, what's up with the track grip? The track grip's horrendous right now. It's like falling away. It's like it's raining, but not. What? What's going on here? Right, Norris, go out then. I don't know what's going on here. It's really, literally, the track grip's died off. What's What's going on with uh, Dubai? What's happening? I've sent science out as well. I just have a bad feeling. I have a bad feeling, so I'm just sending out science just in case. Just in case. But Norris is on his lap. He's going to improve. He's done a white first sector, green second sector. Come through the last bend. He's down to P14 here. Across the line, P12. And Norris will just make the cut. Maybe. Maybe. Stroll's in the pit. It's all good. It's all over. It's all over. Carlos Sainz, he'll finish the lap. But he doesn't need to, technically. But he'll finish the lap. Up into... Well, he stays in P9 then. 
So we just, by the skin of our teeth there, look at that, 400 to the second. We get both cars into Q3 for the second time in a row. But we've lost some pace here a little bit, it seems, to Dubai. And uh, what on earth was this track grip business about? Right, it's go time then for qualifying. In terms of tyres, we only have three sets. Uh, these go 13, they go thir 13, 15, and those go 18. So... I think it will be a, I think it'll be a two stop, on two sets of mediums, I think. Uh, I can't remember what it was previously, but uh, for some, I, f I feel like we should be saving one of these tires. Like, I'm gonna go out on this set. I'm gonna go on a bank lap first with science, and I'll do the same with Lando. We'll go on that one, and just set a time on on worn rubber, and we'll then do a second run on fresh. Just give us a yardstick, a marker. Track grip's going up, but again, it's plummeting. As we go through the session, the track grip's plummeting. Very peculiar. Very peculiar. Right, let's see. It's, uh... Well, right now, I can't tell how good that is, because uh, only Vettel and Hamilton set lap times. But as we go through, let's see what it is. Perez goes faster. Uh, Verstappen's there. Where's Where's Ricardo at? He's, he's coming through to finish his lap. Where's it going to be? Ooh, Ricardo a lot faster. As well, yeah, we are... Actually, we're only two tens off Ricardo there. That's not too bad, but Ocon and Grosjean need to set a time. Right, uh, I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to send them back out again, because the track group just appears to be just going down. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. I, f well, I want to say that looks like a glitch, but I can't tell for sure. Right, send them both out again. All right, we're P10 and P12. Pretty much where we were in Q2. Right, come on, lads. Let's pull some out of the bag here. Last lap here. Good, uh, no, that's a horrendous outlap. Horrendous outlap. Well, that's going to be, uh, I'll be surprised if Lando improves. He does set a green. Science is not. He set one white and one green through to the last corner, across the line. It's an improvement of sorts. P9. Lando, though, does not improve that much. He's P12. P9 and P12. And obviously, Perez is setting another lap time, and he's gone green the first sector, white second. Uh, oh, no, he's not. He's not improved. Ocon's on an outlap. He could be the only man that displaces Sainz down to P10. Let's have a see what he's doing here in terms of his lap. He's on, it's the last minute. Let's go. Let's see. Green. Green. Ooh, doesn't look good for us. Green. Oh, you know, he, he, well, he did improve, I think, but not enough. So we do finish P9 then with Carlos Sainz and Lando Norris P12. It's not exactly what I was hoping for, but we know the, the race can be better, I think, for us. Hopefully, and hopefully the track group can actually stay up. Right, it's time for the race. In terms of strategy, we'll take in the medium tires because I feel like we'll be on them for the longest. Uh, let's just have a quick gander. 40 laps. I'm pretty sure those go nine. I think it was at best 15, I think, or 16 the mediums go. To, so two sets of mediums and this one set of ultras uh, will be uh, what we do, I think. Uh, I don't know about the top guys. They might be able to pull off a more aggressive strategy, but I think that'll be the one for us. Uh, going attacking at the start. Actually, no, we'll go pushing and then go attack afterwards. Overtake mode of the engine. All right, let's get into this, lads. P9, P12, not the best, but let's try and get the decent, solid double points uh, and once again try and take the fight and get ahead of Renault Racing Point and, uh, and Haas even. So here we go then to five red lights to the second round. Dubai, P9 for Sainz, Norris in 12. Five lots are out, we're underway. It's a good start for Sainz. No major excitement though into turn one for him, but Lando Norris making places up already. P10, Norris, I don't know. I, I want to say Norris maybe has a perk of being good at the start on that one because he's, again, overtaking Sainz. Uh, although, to be fair, Science comes back at him then. But this will be now two races in a row where Science, uh, well, Norris makes a great start on that one. You know, he's gained, you know, um, four positions to, to get to where he is with Science now. But both are making progress here. We've got already one of the Renaults. Again, though, one of the Renaults is insane. Last time it was Ocon. This time it's Ricardo. He's up into P3 briefly. Now to P4. But what is it with one of one of the Renaults only making an amazing start? But uh, to be fair, we're right there with him. With Leclerc right there. You know, he's, he's just only two, uh, one apex away. So good stuff there. A good opening lap. Got ahead of Ocon, Grosjean. Now just need to get ahead of Ricardo, which we nearly do there. Not quite. But Ricardo's now down to P6. So he's calming down a bit. Uh, I need to calm down a little bit in terms of the pushing because I need to make sure we can go the distance here. So let's go high and high on the fuel and neutral on the tyres, please. Just try and stretch them a little bit, but keep up with Ricardo, hopefully. Oh, Norris is getting pretty feisty with uh, with Science there. Hopefully they don't fight too much. Come on, lads. Both of you just uh, pull up to Ricardo. 
nice and gently, and then overtake him. Pretty simple, isn't it? Uh, right now, though, can't even do that as we move on. Lap number five, nothing really changing. Science is getting a little bit close in sector two, but then sector one, Ricardo's getting away. Now, Norris has made a mistake, and now he's definitely... Oh, well, he's now... He's, Grosjean's now closer to him than he is to, to, the, to Science. So that's a bit of an issue. We also got to... Oh, that actually ma massively... I didn't even realise that. That mistake killed his tyres because he locked up really badly. Oh, no. Okay, we need to pit in now. We need to pit early with Norris. That's fine, though, because uh, Grosjean's coming in as well, you can see. So maybe it's not all bad. Uh, I'll go medium. Uh, fast pit strategy. Let's try and counter out this mistake you just made, Norris. Come in. Low fuel. It's been a pretty bad in-lap, but oh well. Right, science is warming up these tyres. Need to cool them down. All right, I'm going to start pushing science now. Lap number eight. And probably come in on the next lap, I'd say. Or maybe on this one. Uh, 23. Now we'll keep going. We'll keep going. 1.1 gained. Ricard doesn't come in. We're not going to come in. Now we'll come in. Lap number nine. Uh, Norris is P15 right now. He's behind Grosjean. He got overtaken. He, Grosjean's gone to ultras. Grosjean's gone to ultras. Interesting. Uh, we'll continue on. We'll, we'll do with the strategy. Right, let's see. Fast pit stop. Let's go. Please, come on. Good stuff. Right, out in P13, ahead of Norris. Uh, Ricardo's gone mediums as well. So Grosjean's done something very different to everyone else. So we'll see how that pans out for him. Let's go neutral. We need to save fuel with everyone, really, and also conserve these tyres as well. So this is going to be a bit of a slower stint. And uh, the more as we go through this race, lap 10, you know, a quarter of the way through, Ricardo's all the way over here now. Although, oh, he's got an issue. Okay, I was about to say, I don't know if we can catch Ricardo because he's looking pretty decent. But he's got issues now. And he's got a drive-through. Yes. Ricardo's crashed with someone. That's why he's got issues there. I think he might have crashed with number 10, Magnussen, maybe. Because Magnussen's got some pretty bad tyres. So, absolutely awesome news for us. So, we should inherit best of the rest for free, basically. Because Grosjean is going to pit as well off those ultras. So, surely, we'll inherit best of the rest, which will be very, very decent. Although we've just been overtaken by Perez uh, and Perez on supers. There's a lot of different tar strategies here in the, in the midfield, I must say. Uh, so what's Perez doing then? Is he doing two sets of supers? That'd be quite audacious, really, if he does. Right, lap number 18 then. 23 laps to go. Sit rep is. Grosjean is about to come in from that second set of ultras. Don't know about Perez. He's been sort of closing us down. He sort of closed us down, but we kept it at bay. Science had some more fuel to burn than Lando, so I've been able to... Um, Use a bit of a uh, high fuel mixture to kind of counteract Perez pushing on the super softs. Norris is going to have to pit a lot earlier than Sainz. But of course, we went about two laps, three laps earlier than him uh, on that pit stop. And we got, oh, what on earth is that? Smoking engine there. What, who is that? One of the Alpine racing cars, I think. 24th place. Massa, that is. Um, so right now, we're back in. Yeah, we are. We have inherited that best of the rest. We're P7. So can't ask for much more. Honestly, all we've got to try and do now is get Norris ahead of Perez, which is going to be a lot easier to do than, uh, uh, to say than do. Uh, but we'll try our best. But I feel like Sainz, I feel like we should have this covered. We should have this covered off in P7. Unless we hit horrendous tyre wear or car issues. But hopefully I haven't just jinxed that. Right, pushing the Lando Norris right now. We're closing up to Sergio Perez here. Full out attack mode. The tyre's getting quite worn and overheated maybe slightly. But, uh, oh, Ricardo's retired with a mechanical issue. So that's one of our rivals out. Very good news for us. We continue to close down Perez. He's going to come in on this lap. We're going to cover him off as well and come in on this lap too. Right, pit in, mate. Uh, 19 laps left. Perfect. Medium. So let's go. Let's go. Pit. Right, save fuel as you come in. Low. In. Right, this needs to be a good pit stop, lads. We need uh, Perez to make a mistake. And meanwhile, I'll go pushing now with uh, Sainz. And he'll come in very soon as well. Uh, right, good pit stop. Yes, buddy. Yes, we've jumped Perez in the pits. Good stuff, lads. Great stuff. Love your work. Right. Medium, neutral. Carry on like that. Good stuff, mate. Good stuff. Perez on the same tar combat as, as well now. So he no longer has an advantage there. So that's very good. Now we just watch on with Sainz. Let him push. Going to get low fuel here, but just let him push. Go out for all flat out attack base. and will come in soon enough. Right, Science is going to be in. Fast pit stop as well for him. Another set of mediums. Oh, mistake on the front, Jack. But we come out still in... Oh, no, not in P7. Not in P7. Gassy's in P7, but he's yet to pit. So it will be P7. And Norris is down there, but doing a good job ahead of Perez. Stroll, Grosjean, Magnussen should all pit. So we'll be P7 and 8 by the end of this race, I think, hopefully. And look at that. Science. Like, literally one in-lap, an out-lap on low fuel. He's already in the, in the green again. What a man. What a man. Right, um, 
Just wait for uh, for Gassi, really, to pit, I think. And that should come pretty soon, I would hope. Has he come through? Not yet. Uh, who else is... Uh, we've gone up one. How do we go up one? Who came out? Oh, oh, Verstappen. Verstappen's pit. He's come out in a kind of weird spot here. Well, what's going on with him? Very odd. Okay. Oh, and uh, Norris is now being pressurized by Perez. Let's go high fuel. Try and counteract that a little bit. Right. Gasly, when are you coming in, mate? Well, lap 29. Gasly's going to be in. We're actually closing up on him. That's our little tire where he has left. And so we're up into P7 once more. Good stuff. And a lot of these guys should be coming in soon. Norris up to P10, P9. Stroll will come in. Verstappen. I know what he's doing. Right. Actually, well, what am I talking about? Right now, we're P6 with signs. Not even 7 because Verstappen has pit. And he's legit, like I said, done something wrong there because Albon's ahead of him. Yeah, Albon's going to pit as well. The Red Bulls have actually shown some really bad race pace. What's going on here? Uh, Albon's in. We're up to B5. We're beating two Red Bulls here. What's going on with Red Bull? They're P6 and 7. What's going on here? Okay, okay. Let's go, Sainz. Let's go. All right, lap 32. Albon is right behind us. He's on, uh, well, not fresh, but pretty fresh ultras. And he's overtaken us there. But we're still P5 because Leclerc is pit as well. And we're, we're battling Ferraris. We're battling a Ferrari and Red Bull in this second race. How I'm so confused. How How is it? This has been a brilliant race strategy for us. Monumentally brilliant that we're up here. And we're still P6 because Verstappen's still got to overtake us. Mega. Right, we've got a few laps left to go. Norris is P8. His tyres are going off, but... Perez is as well, but ours are definitely going off way more uh, than him. Uh, so this is a little fine here. Three laps to go. I don't know if Norris could do it. I have a bad feeling that Norris might drop down to P9. But meanwhile, Carlos Sainz is doing wonders against his old Toro Rosso teammate here. He's still ahead of Verstappen. Verstappen's on, on the same set of old mediums here. And Sainz has, has got a bucket load of fuel to burn. You can see he's uh, plus 0.21. So we're using that to good benefit. We're using the engine... To keep him ahead, just got to keep on going for a few more laps, mate. And you can get a brilliant P6, which is better than best of the rest. One place better over your old arch nemesis, Max Verstappen. Absolutely crazy. Great stuff. Come on. Keep going. Lap 39. Norris, what are you saying, mate? He's on low fuel. Go medium. Oh, oh, yes. Both Red Bulls are pit again. Red Bull have had a mare. Red Bull have had a mare. Norris might run out of tyres, though. Oh, my God. All right, back up mode. Back up mode. We've got two laps to go. Jesus. The tyres are going completely. The track grip's non-existent on this track. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Right, do we pit now? If I pit now, where do I come out? Ultras. Uh, fast pit stop. I come out in P11. That's... No. I'll, they're all running out of tyres. So, we may as well continue. They're all running out of tyres as well. No, we'll continue. We'll continue. Keep going. Keep going. Science is all good. Just push, push flat out, mate, in this last lap. Right. Norris. Go, actually no, I'll keep medium, right to the end of the lap. Ah, he's run out of tyres, run out of tyres. Perez is going to run out of tyres surely as well. Albon's got us there, but we're all running out of tyres. We're all running out of tyres. We're literally on the rims as uh, Science comes through the last bend. He's going to come home in a very, very good P5. Is that two P5s in a row? Is that two P5s in a row? For number 55, Sainz. Absolutely awesome. Norris gets overtaken in the end by Albon, Perez and Verstappen. But he will limp home for P9. It's better than the P11 he would have got if we pit. Uh, he just couldn't make it work like Sainz. And you know what? That that goes back to the first pit stop. If he didn't have that lock up and we had to pit two laps earlier, he wouldn't have been in this position. So, unfortunately, actually, that's not even my management style. That's Norris. The, the, him, the finish the, to this race he had right there was his own fault from the first stint. So he's got his own, only self, he's got only himself to blame. But Sainz, what a lad. What a leader for this team. Again, another P5 then, that is. Because I'm pretty sure we got P5 last time as well. So... Really mega. I'm I'm liking this vibe. I'm liking this vibe. But we, you know, we're already doing bits of you know getting some uh you know one up on some top teams here with just some clever strategy like that and a little bit of luck obviously as well because I think Red Bull I don't know the, the track you've seen a little bit glitch really with the track grip. But there you go. P5. Uh, we've got 15 po uh, 22 points. Yeah. So did we do we get P5 two times? 10. No, I, I think we got P4 then surely because we got, got 12 for four. Yeah, we must have got fourth place. But still. Still, still, P4, P4 and P5, 
Great way to start the season. Landon Norris still on, only on two. That means he's got his first points on the board, actually. That was his first points. Uh, and we are now uh, 24 points to 13 for Racing Point. And Renault still, on, still only on a measly two. So we've got another 2.1 million in the bank. The engine's now being built. Uh, so that's all good. Going to continue those iterations. But uh, another very, very decent episode, I'd say, guys. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're on your own here to subscribe for weekly full-on content, I've been Arava. Have a just day. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.